Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Kerrika TV for Not to Talk About It Tuesday. I'm Erica Lasan. Um, this week we are going to be talking about, um, well actually, we're not just going to be talking, I'm actually going to be singing a song. Um, I, in my 90 Days of Momentum, said that I would be performing more and I haven't been doing that so much. So I'm going to be sharing something with you guys today. But it also is in line with what I want to talk about for Talk About It Tuesday. A couple of weeks ago, there was um, a killing of a young black male named Freddie Gray and by officers. And it turns out that not all of them were white, but um, half of them were white, half of them were black of all ages and um, backgrounds. But it happened in Baltimore, a place that I call home because that's where I was born and raised before I came to the New York, New Jersey area. And um, it's just one more life, one more life that's lost. And it's so frustrating and so, like, it, it hurts me because it almost makes me feel like, where is this country headed? Like, And gratefully, I'm, I'm so happy to hear that they were charged with homicide, but, you know, even though we've gotten to this point, that's only half the battle, which is no small... Um, thing because of all of the murders and killings of innocent black men and young black boys that have happened I believe that this is one of the first where they've actually been indicted with a crime in um, taking a life so we're halfway there but the other part is to actually make sure that they serve for what they did because when it comes down to it no matter what happened no matter what the person did and in this case he was innocent he didn't do anything worth him losing his life over that could be my child one day just hanging out in his neighborhood like Trayvon Martin was or walking down the street hanging out with his friend before they feel threatened like Mike Brown was or standing on a corner talking about how he doesn't agree with something that's happening in his city, his town, his country, whatever the case is, and he becomes an uh, attacked like Eric Garner was, and he loses his life like so many other people. It's just very troubling to me. So um, today I'm going to sing a song by Tracy Chapman called Across the Lines. I don't know if you guys know it, but it, it was one of my favorites growing up. I used to listen to her all the time because my parents like, listened to stuff like that. I was super young, probably between eight and my early teens. But the words always kind of like got me, even though then it seemed like there wasn't as big of a problem as there is now. Um, it always made me think about the civil rights era and the things that went on there and what happened across the lines and separation um, and segregation and things like that and the effects that it had on people. And now that we're in 2015 and things like this are happening again, it almost brings back those same feelings. But if anything, I feel like it's worse because after over 50 years of uh, the, um, what's supposed to be civil equality and um, appreciation of all lives or for all lives things like this are now starting to happen and not only happen but happen more frequently when there should have been change um, so just something to think about if you guys want to hear the original song I'm gonna place a link in the description box I do have a guitar but I don't know how to play it I wish I actually did because that would be great accompaniment for this but I'm just gonna do it acapella okay here it goes <laughs> Across the lines, who would dare to go under the bridge and over the tracks that separate whites from blacks? True sights, or run for your lives. Tonight the riots begin. On the back streets of America, they kill the dream of America. Mm hmm, mm hmm, yeah. Little black girl gets assaulted, ain't no reason why. Newspaper prints the story and reads his tempers fly. Next day, it starts a riot, knives and guns drum. Two black boys are killed, one white boy goes blind. Across the lines, who would dare to go under the bridge and over the tracks that separates whites from blacks? True sides or run 
fighting for your lives Tonight the riots begin mm -hmm. On the back streets of America They kill the dream of America Gets assaulted and no one knows her name. Lots of people hurt and angry, saying she's the one to blame. Across the lines, who would dare to go under the bridge and over the tracks that separates whites from blacks? Choose sides to run for your lives Tonight the riots begin oh, On the back streets of America They kill the dream of America On the back streets of America they kill the dream of America On the back streets of America They kill the dream of America mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. Across the lines Who would dare to go Under the bridge And over the tracks That separates whites from blacks And that concludes my Talk About It Tuesday. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and I would also like you to share and leave a comment below about what your thoughts and reactions were to the Freddie Gray incident as well as the subsequent Baltimore riot that happened as a result of that and all of the, I guess, emotions that have built in the past three years since all of these incidents have happened with people like Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, Mike Brown, um, uh, uh, along with all of the others because those are just four of a lot and so many lives that have been lost and continue to be lost on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis here in the States. Um, not to mention all of the other stuff that's happening in the world. I would love to hear your story. Leave a comment below and until next time guys, live rich and happy dream tracing. Bye. Not knowing that there was a world of opportunities out there, but for some reason always having a sense of wonder and adventure as a kid. I knew that there was something bigger out there, but you know, I just didn't know how to find it. What I know now, brunch, and it was awesome. Thank you so much, Tiana Parrish and Cheryl for tagging me in the post, but Tiana for inviting me to come and taking care of everything. It was awesome. The panel was amazing.